So I want to talk to you real quickly about kind of what's going on in the overall market. So um, right here and now, the market conditions are really flat effectively. And you can see in Bitcoin and Ethereum respectively, we've had these dips down in the last seven days. Um, by the way, this dip for Ethereum was only about a two, three hundred dollar dip, but it looks a lot more aggressive on the chart than it than it really you know kind of was relatively overall. But, you know, Bitcoin it uh, it has definitely reached up and knocked on the door of forty eight thousand has pulled back from that. We know that, um, and Ethereum uh, is is inching towards that 3500 and actually has passed it in the last 24 hours period again we need to get it we need to get it um, moving and going north of say you know obviously 4000 that would be really really nice but you we see in the last really two days we've had this consolidation pattern going on in bitcoin and ethereum which is really impacting obviously the overall altcoin market Okay, so again, kind of like I've, I've, I've been kind of known to say, it's like we're really just treading water, really not a whole heck of a lot going on. In fact, if you look at the 24-hour chart in the top 100, okay, the number one uh, the number one uh, um, crypto project is humans.ai, only up 10.7%, and, you know, Convex, CeeLo, 9766. You can see there's really not a lot of movement here, right, in the, in the last 24 hours. Not overly surprising. You know, it, it, it's a Sunday for most of us, uh, depending upon where you're at in the world. It may be Monday for you, obviously, but right here, right now, uh, not a lot of clear momentum, no real direction, nothing really going on per se, right? And if you look kind of at, if we're looking forward in the end of the next week, what we're kind of keeping an eye on is this jobs report that's coming out. Um, I want to keep an eye on the Dow and the NASDAQ, but we've also got Russia, Ukraine, war, and probably more coming out this week around that. Um, and the continued um, news around that and the impact that that has on the overall broader markets, which obviously does impact crypto as well. Um, but, you know, again, kind of the State of the Union is 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 effectively flat. Let me kind of find the fear and greed index. So it's funny, I wasn't looking for watches and it's showing me watches. That's interesting. I don't know why. It's, I think when, like, and I like to leave this on just for the heck of it. I have not been, it's weird. I've not been looking at watches, but I'm being pre being presented ads for watches. I guess, uh, you know, Google and things like that just doesn't know what to show me right now. Anyway, that's funny. Uh, neutral, neutral. Uh, so again, we're kind of in that neutral. We are in this, I do like being in this neutral range here i do like that and to me that's a good thing okay and so when i'd like to keep us uh here but again get some more strong bullish momentum moving forward for, for moving for us uh to you know show um and basically you know let's pick a direction and let's go but if you kind of look at some of the top ones solana um you know just I mean, look at Solana's chart. Actually, Solana is kind of going against the grain. That's interesting. I hadn't really looked at that. It's actually, look at that. It's actually going against the grain of, say, let me show you real quickly. So here's Solana, right? Sorry, Solana's right here. And look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. Solana's got this nice move up. Um, Solana's one that I have owned for a long time. I really am a fan of it. And, uh, and you know, it was down to about, what, 90-ish dollars, give or take. So it's come back really nicely in the last seven days, up 33%. Um, XRP, look at that, you know, again, follow, following kind of Bitcoin and Ethereum, but did not really get a rebound. XRP continues to kind of languish, if you will, kind of trying to, you know, after what's going on with the SEC lawsuit or not. Uh, Cardano uh, definitely peaked up and, and fell back again with Bitcoin and Ethereum, kind of similar chart and has rebounded a little bit, a little bit of volatility, but, you know, still doing well there. Avalanche, Polkadot, these are all some of my favorites. Uh, Shiba Inu is continuing to kind of follow with a little bit more volatility. You can see it's the number one kind of community token um, in the top of uh, Kronos, which is, to me, I will always it will always be Crowcoin to me, um, following exactly in line with Bitcoin and Ethereum. You see a trend, right? And co so this is kind of where we're at. Again, um, not a lot of major fun stuff to talk about per se, and we're just kind of, it is what it is, and this is where we're at. As always, appreciate you, and I'll see you later.